hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about a second type of duplexer that is balanced type duplexer in the previous video i have explained the first type of duplexer which is known as branch type duplexer so generally what do you mean by a duplexer what is the purpose of duplexer in the transmission line duplexer is used to separate or isolate the transmitting signal and the receiving signal what is when we are using the duplexer we have to use the duplexer in the transmission line when we are using a single antenna for both transmission and reception. Okay, we need to remember these two points when we are coming for the uh, writing a theory part related to duplexer. So, what do you mean by duplexer? Duplexer. So in the examinations, when you are asked to write about balance type duplexer or branch type duplexer, you should first discuss something related to duplexer so what is the duplexer what is the purpose of duplexer what are the types of duplexers and then whatever the question you have asked you have been asked that you have to write so duplexer is nothing but duplexer is a microwave device all these are microwave components so duplexer is a microwave component Duplexer is a microwave component used to isolate, isolate or separate. Okay, used to isolate transmitting and receiving signals. <coughs> Okay. So, when we need to use this duplexer, generally what is the purpose of uh, transmitting and receiving signals? What happens if we don't use duplexer? What happened? Because during transmission, transmitter will generate high amount of signal. During reception, uh, received signal is very weak echo signal. So, transmitter, in order to receive such weak echo signals, the receiver must be designed in high sensitive way so high sensitive receivers should not have high power signals as the input so during transmission if uh, as we are going to transmit the signal to a long distance definitely we should design the transmitter in such a way that it has to be generated long uh, high power signals with high frequency such high power signal if enters into the receiver receiver damages because it is designed very sensitively to detect very small echo signals okay so for that purpose we need to separate the transmitting and receiving signals so this component has to be preferred when a single antenna is used for both transmitting and receiving okay uh, suppose this is the transmitting section this is the receiving section for both of these uh, transmitting and receiving signals so we are having if we are having a single antenna so then definitely we should use a duplexer at this particular place to separate the transmitting and receiving signals such type of duplexers are of two types <coughs> duplexers are of two types they are first one branch type duplexer second one balance type duplexer so in the previous video i have explained about the branch type duplexer now in this video i will explain about balance type duplexer in branch type and balance type both uses tr and atr tubes 
okay both uses tr and atr tubes transmit receive anti transmit receive tubes which are nothing but gas discharge tubes which are nothing but gas discharge tubes both methods use tr and atr tubes <coughs> what are they they are nothing but gas discharge tubes they are gas discharge tubes when high power hits them they are what they will do they are fired fired or short circuited in our technology we can call it as short circuited <coughs> this is the purpose of this tr and atr tubes when for, when we are using in the <coughs> duplexer okay tr and atr tr means a transmit receive atr means anti transmit and receive so these two are gas discharging tubes so when high power touches them simply they are fired <coughs> they are fired nothing but they are acting as a short circuit now let us see how these two tr and atr tubes in we have used in the construction of balance type duplexer <coughs> Actually, in the balance type duplexer, we are using both TR tubes, not ATR tube. But whereas in the use, in the case of a branch type duplexer, we have used both TR and ATR tubes. Okay, that we have seen separately. This is the construction of the balance type duplexer with two TR tubes. So that's why here we are using dual TR tubes. Dual TR tubes. This is the place where we are using. TR tubes. Now, this balance and uh, this branch, uh, sorry, balance type duplexer has four ports. <coughs> it is having four ports. One port is connected with the transmitter, and another port is connected with the antenna, and third port is connected with the receiver protector, and here it is, fourth port is connected with the dummy load. Okay, you can give it to any name like 1, 2, 3, 4, those names are different with the different uh, um, others. You can call this as first port and you can call it as second port. You can call it as fourth port and this is third port. Okay, otherwise you can take first port as transmitter and second port as antenna, third port as receiver and fourth port as dummy load. That is uh, depending on the different perceptions of the others. You can call it like any way. Whatever it is, now see here, these, uh, this waveguide is having a cut at two places. See, the, uh, see I am explaining about the construction. Actually, it uh, balance type duplexer has two waveguides. One waveguide is coupling with another waveguide. Okay, it is constructed with two waveguides. This is the first waveguide where you have seen the transmitter and receiver as, are connected. This line up to this one. <coughs> okay, this is the first waveguide which is having the two ports on either ends connections with the transmitter and receiver. Now, we have taken another waveguide with uh, some bendings at the ends like uh, uh, 3 and 4, how we are seeing. The same waveguide is coupled with this another linear waveguide. Okay. So, when you are constructing, when you are coupling these two, in order to couple the power from one waveguide to another waveguide, a cut has been made here. So, this cut is known as a short slot short slot and these two are used to couple the power from one waveguide to another waveguide so these junctions we can call it that as a junction that junction is known as short slot junction short slot junction see here it is written short slot hybrid junction short slot hybrid junction is a junction to power to couple the power from one waveguide to another waveguide 
okay because these are two wave gates that are coupled together okay and these tr tubes have been inserted at the middle of at the center of these two wave gates so one tr tube in one wave gate and another tr tube in the another wave gate so this is first one and this is second one okay so this is the construction of this balance type duplexer now i will explain what happened during transmission and what happened during reception what is the purpose of during transmission the transmitted signal um, first case during transmission we should know what happens during transmission okay during transmission what we are expecting the transmitted signal should go to the antenna and during reception during reception the received signal should go into the, the antenna signal should go to the receiver okay so in this way the communication has to be done now let us see during transmission the transmitter we know transmitter will generate a very high amount of power so that high amount of power coming from this first port and touches this tr tube if any leakage power is there that leakage power will also go and touches this tr tube on the other wave gate coupling port from the coupling port nothing but a short slot hybrid junction the power has been divided into two parts and one part is going in this way in the upward direction and one other part is going in the downward direction however these two are high power signals when touches the tr tubes what is the condition when high power touches the tr tubes they are acting as short circuited they are fired so they the power cannot go on to the other hand so the power will be reflected back that reflected power will be collected and sending to the antenna this is the way how the transmission is taking place in the case of a balance type duplexer <clears throat> suppose if any leakage power occurs in tr and tr tubes then that leakage power will be delivered to the dummy load now during reception what happens during reception the antenna will collect the signal that signal as it is going in the forward direction so that goes in this direction only and it will not reflect it back it will not reflect back so that signal will be going in this direction and as the received signal is very weak signal that ER and it, that ER tubes are not fired they simply acts like open circuit so that signal will be collected by this receiver the, so the signals will be going like this okay so this is the way how the transmitter and receivers are working and uh, how the transmitting signal and receiving signals are being separated in the case of balance type duplexer thank you